There's a lot of confusion surrounding the difference between an LLC and an S Corp. And in this video, we'll help clear the air for you. I'm Ted Sutton, and this is Direct Answers from Corporate Direct. Before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any general questions about anything. What exactly is an LLC? Well, an LLC stands for Limited Liability Company, and it's an entity type that you set up with the Secretary of State. It has the limited liability protection of the corporation, which means that if you put money into the LLC and the business is sued, your liability is limited to what you put into that business. And another interesting feature of the LLC is the tax flexibility that it offers. They can be taxed as C-Corps, which means that there's two levels of taxation. They can be taxed as S-Corps, which means there's only one level of taxation. They can be taxed as partnerships, where you have two or more members. Or if you have a one member LLC, they can be taxed as disregarded entities. If you wanna learn more about the difference between C-Corp and S-Corp taxation, click the link here and watch the video that I did in Direct Answers Episode 3. As I mentioned before, an S-Corp is a form of taxation. It's not an entity that you set up, it's a form of taxation. And there's two types of entities that can be taxed as S-Corps. One is the LLC and the other is the corporation. And the main benefit to setting up an S-Corp is how it's taxed. In a C-Corp, you face two levels of taxation. You face one at the entity level where they pay that 21% corporate tax. And then you pay another tax at the individual level if any distributions or dividends are paid out to that individual. With the S-Corp, there's only one level of taxation at the individual level. So if the business has any profits and losses, those profits and losses flow on to that individual's tax returns. There's no corporate income tax if you're taxed as an S-Corp. And the second benefit with setting up an S-Corp is that you can use it to minimize payroll taxes. So if you have an active trader business and it's taxed as an S-Corp, what you'd usually do is you'd set a salary for yourself. And the benefit for setting up a salary is that you only pay payroll taxes on the salary instead of all of the profits on the business. However, if you do this, that salary must be reasonable. Let me use a quick example here. Let's say that you have a business, it's an active trader business, and you're an LLC that's taxed as an S-Corp. And let's say in the first year, you make $100,000, just easy math. Well, if you don't set a salary for yourself, you're paying those payroll taxes on the entire $100,000 that your business makes. As they stand right now, the payroll taxes are 15.3%. So in this case, you'd be paying $15,300 in payroll tax on the business if you don't set a salary for yourself. However, let's say that you set a salary for yourself that's $50,000 a year. And let's also say that that salary is reasonable. Because you set a reasonable salary of $50,000 for yourself, you're only paying payroll taxes on that $50,000 of salary. So in this case, you'd pay 15.3% of $50,000, which is about 7,700 bucks. Because you set a reasonable salary for yourself, you saved almost $8,000 in payroll tax. And that's the benefit of setting up a business that's taxed as an S-Corp. However, if your business is set up and taxed as an S-Corp, there are some drawbacks or some restrictions. Number one, you can't have more than 100 shareholders if your business is taxed as an S-Corp. This isn't the case with C-Corps or LLCs that are taxed differently. Number two, any shareholder must be a U.S. resident. With C-Corps, an owner can be a foreign national, but that's not the case with a business that's taxed as an S-Corp. Number three, S-Corps can't be owned by other entities. That's not the case with C-Corps or LLCs that are taxed differently. And lastly, there's only one class of stock that's allowed if your business is taxed as an S-Corp. Just to sum it up, an LLC is an entity type, an S-Corp is a form of taxation. If you use both properly, 
it may be able to benefit your business in the long run. I'll see you next time. Hold on, I'm not done yet. If you're looking to start a business, click the link in the description below and schedule a free 15 minute consultation with us. Also make sure to check out the Corporate Direct website and subscribe to our newsletter, where we'll send you a lot of good information on corporate law amongst other things. And as always, Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any general questions about anything. I'll see you next time.